I'm back with another updated review of an older topper that's been revamped and upgraded from Unawigs. I've had this Courtney topper for about a year and a half and I've worn it to death. <laughs> it's starting to show some serious wear, so I'm thrilled to introduce you to the new upgraded Courtney. I'll go over all the details and differences from the older version. Thank you to Unawigs for sponsoring this video and being cool with me giving all my honest opinions. All the details for this piece, including the link to purchase, are listed in the description below. Hi, I'm Lacey from No Filter Beauty and I'm an alternative hair consultant. I help women suffering from hair loss find the right topper or wig online. This channel is to help inform you about pieces through honest reviews, helpful tips, and educational content. So if this sounds helpful to you, subscribe. Let's start with the cap design. This is a mono top, which means it's super lightweight, but it's also very durable. So when looking from the top, the knots where the hair is tied on are slightly visible. This has never and never will deter me from wearing a mono top. The benefits far outweigh the knots, so let's go over them. I love mono tops for how breathable and lightweight they are. They're also a little easier to blend for most people because the part line doesn't draw attention like a silk top does. This makes it easier to blend the topper with your hairline if you want to sit it a little behind your hairline. Most people will agree the knots are a non-issue. There are also several ways to camouflage those knots even more if you want to. I'll link a video here that shows you how I've done it in the past. At this point, I don't even bother because the knots just don't deter me in any way. Nobody is analyzing your part line like you think they are. One of the main differences between the upgraded version versus the old version is now you have a flexible parting area. So my old Courtney had a very limited hand tied area and I couldn't change up my part. This one is like two and a half by three and a half inches. So you have plenty of space to part. This also means that you have more space if you wanted to cut a bang, you just redirect the hair forward along that hairline and makes it really easy. It also is gonna give you more volume at the roots with more hand tied area. Mono tops have what are called return hairs, which are these short hairs dispersed throughout the hand tied area. This gives it a lot of volume near the root and it keeps the cap super thin and lightweight. The cap size on this piece is seven by eight inches and it's a great transition from a medium to a larger cap. It's a lightweight and breathable cap, so it'll be a cooler option for hot temperatures. It's large enough to clip in lower on your head, so it should be more comfortable if you have significant thinning through the crown. This cap does not have a clip at the front, which is nice. <laughs> My old Courtney did, and I ended up taking it out and sewing in a comb. I think it sits perfectly flat without anything there, but if you're worried or if you're having issues with it, you can sew in a comb or a clip depending on your preference. I love how flat this topper sits, and I love that with a mono top, you can wear it a little behind your hairline if you want. I just use a little fibers to help blend, but this works much better with a mono top than other kinds of toppers. Matching your bio hair texture can be really important for a seamless blend. You also want to consider what kind of hair texture will get you the style you're after. So this is Remy Human Hair and like some other Unawix pieces it air dries wavy. It's listed as Burmese hair and it has a fluffy texture once it's washed. When it first comes though it has a super sleek and straight texture. Once you wash it the hair texture is going to change dramatically. I really love a fluffy texture and if you like volume this is the texture for you. So if you like volume and body, this one's gonna give you that. Sometimes if hair is too sleek, I feel like it doesn't look quite natural. So I feel like this texture matches my bio hair really well and looks extra natural. This piece has an average density of 130%. So that works great for most people, but especially anyone looking to add length because it gives you enough density on the ends, especially after it's washed and that fluffy texture starts to show to add length without too much of your bio hair showing through. The length on this one is 16 inches, but Unawigs measures their hair by strand, which means that when you measure from the center part to the tips, it'll actually sit a little longer than what you see on the listing. So this one measures 16 inches on the listing, but when I measure from center part to tips, it sits at 18 inches. Unix has started adding pre-cut layers to some of their toppers, and it's a huge improvement over the blunt lengths that they had before. It looks so much more natural out of the box, and with a little restyling, could totally be worn that way. I still recommend having a stylist do a custom cut for you though, because you'll be surprised how much more you love it if you do. My stylist cut a few more layers into this one and shortened the face framing layers a bit. The color on this piece is the same as my old piece, which is Moose Brown. It has beautiful highlights with some money pieces in the front. Just remember that consistency between human hair colors can be difficult, so there might be a subtle difference from piece to piece, especially when you're looking at an old piece versus a new piece, because they can fade really easily and oxidize over time. Color matching with this piece is a little easier than something with a smaller cap or with less hair. You can probably pull off a spectrum of colors since it gives you so much coverage with the cap size and the density. The most important part to match though 
is usually your roots. If you're nervous about color matching though, you'll wanna start with a lighter color because it's usually easier to blend than a darker one. And it's also easier to color if you decide you want a stylist to custom color it. There are lots of color options for this piece, anywhere from blonde to brunette to black. In true Unowigs fashion, this piece is super affordable compared to other brands. It's priced at near $400 for this color and length. I love this piece for something that is affordable and still has all these great features. If you're new to toppers and looking for a lower price point, or if you're looking for a less expensive backup piece, this is a fantastic option. I'm always gonna tell it like it is, so here are some features that might not work for some people. If you're really set on having a super realistic scalp-like part line, this will not give you that. I've already pled my case that it isn't as necessary as you think it is, but you have to make that decision for yourself. You can't expect this piece to stand the test of time for years of daily use like some other pieces at much higher price points. So this hair isn't going to be the very best quality, which means it will likely tangle more often, it'll need more brushing. I think it still looks beautiful, but after a while you'll start to see the wear on it, like my old Courtney. It looks pretty dry, it won't hold a curl as long because I have to brush it more often. If you're looking for something very sleek and straight with little to no volume or body, this is also not gonna be your piece. <laughs> This piece will only get fluffier over time and it'll take a lot of work to keep it sleek and straight. But all in all, this is an amazing piece for the price. In my private Facebook group, I've seen several women purchase this piece recently and are super happy with it. If you wanna see how this compares to the original Courtney review I posted a while back, you can check that out here. Also, if you wanna see how this piece worked for other women, you can join my private Facebook group and get to meet lots of women navigating hair loss and hair wearing. You can catch me live there every week. I keep this group very private and secure, so in order to join, you'll need to request an invite by clicking on the link in the description box. If this was helpful, do me a favor, like it, share it, and subscribe for more hair topper education and reviews. Thanks, <laughs> see you next time.